Hi everyone, welcome to today's episode of the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court. You're probably thinking, wait a minute, something looks different about you today. What is it? I shaved this morning. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> uh, one thing I forgot to mention about yesterday's episode is that yesterday was Ash Wednesday. You know, in case you were, you know, you you think that's important. I forgot to mention it in yesterday's video, so I'll mention it in today. Uh, oh, my switch fell asleep. <laughs> um... So today, we're sitting right here in the spot where I did my entire uh, cabinet series, which I'm like, you know, let's just come back over here for now, for at least for today's episode. And uh, we're going to talk about Earl Warren of California. He was alive from 1891 to 1974. He was in office from 1953 to 1969. Yeah, he retired. Uh, he was a Republican. He was appointed by President Dwight D. Eisenhower. And his confirmation vote was a acclamation. Oh, excuse me. Uh, his entire tenure of office, he was in office for 15 years and 261 days. So, yeah, pretty long. All right. So now we jump into the part of the video where we talk about all the people that were in office with him as he was, you know, Chief Justice. Uh, Earl Warren, obviously we're talking about him now. Uh, Hugo Black, appointed by FDR. Stanley Reed, appointed by FDR. Charles uh, Whitaker, Appointed by Eisenhower. Byron White. Appointed by... Oh, let's see your purple. Uh, by JFK. Felix Frankfurter. Appointed by FDR. Arthur Goldberg. Appointed by JFK. Abe Fortas. Appointed by LBJ. Lyndon B. Johnson, that is. William Douglas, appointed by FDR. Robert Jackson, appointed by FDR. John Harlan II, appointed by Eisenhower. Uh, Harold Burton, appointed by Truman. Potter Stewart, appointed by Eisenhower. Tom Clark, appointed by Truman. Thurgood Marshall, that name probably sounds familiar. Yeah. Uh, appointed by uh, LBJ. Uh, Sherman Mitten, appointed by Truman. And William Brennan, appointed by Eisenhower. Alright, let's see here. Oh, they switched it up on me. <laughs> okay. Okay, probably the most... Probably one of the most famous court cases in America at the time was uh, Brown versus Board of Education. That was probably the most important, uh, one of the most important court cases our country has ever seen. Uh, basically, just to try to, you know, simplify it as much as I possibly can. Uh, the court ruled that U.S. state laws establishing racial segregation in public schools are unconstitutional, even if the segregated schools are otherwise equal in equality. 
it was, you know, pretty much unanimous, nine to nothing, because, you know, there's only nine people to, you know, because they say that it's, uh, it's a violation of the Equal Protection Clause of the 14th Amendment. And it also kind of overruled parts of Plessy versus Ferguson, one of the other most important uh, court cases our country has ever seen. But uh, Brown versus Board of Education happened in 1954. So, you know, I don't think about that. All right. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Stay tuned tomorrow when we wrap up the series for the week. And we will talk about Warren Burger. No, he's not a hamburger. <laughs> uh, thank you all so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you tomorrow.